Okay, so we're going to look at the uh, picture of Pip the Gentleman, the wonderful Pip the Gentleman, and we're going to look at virtual copies. So I've made a virtual copy of this, and it'll all become clear why later. So I'm going to look at the picture of Pip, and great expression, nice lighting. So uh, I'm just going to bring the highlights up a little bit, and usually we'll take the blacks down just a little bit. I'm also going to put a bit of contrast in there just to get, get a little bit more gritty, not as much blacks. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to put the exposure up just a touch. Down here is quite dark, so I'm going to use a brush to just put some light in there. So I'm going to make sure everything's at zero. I'm going to put just a bit of shadow in there. You can just see it coming up there. Maybe a little bit of highlight, if I put highlight in there, and a little bit of exposure, just so we've got a bit of light in there. And I'm going to do a similar kind of thing on there, on this bit, and there. just a little bit down there, a little bit there, just to have. Add a bit of shadow in there and again, just a little bit of highlight just so we've got a nice light on there. And I think I'm quite happy with that. Um, I think I just crop it just, just slightly, just to make more of that um, highlight on the back, that spotlight on the back. Yeah, so I'm happy with that one. Um, it makes quite a difference. You can always go back and see how it started, and I think it certainly has improved it. But what I want to do now is I want to think about maybe doing a black and white. So what I'm going to do is go right back to the beginning. So I've got the original photo, and I'm going to right click on it and go create virtual copy. So we've got copy there. Exactly the same. Now this one has got all the process on here, so go to the top and make sure you click on that. Yeah. So this time, what I'm going to do is have a go at black and white. So as a good starting point, there's a black and white treatment here. So I'm going to go black and white, which is okay, but we need to alter that a little bit. So we're going to go to the black and white section, and this is what it's done to it. So it's taken all the channels and done this. So what I'm going to do is, because I want his face a bit brighter, I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go to where his face is and just take it up a little bit. Just so I can see his face. So you can see a little bit. Quite nice. And I'm going to do a similar thing with his suit. So I'm going to bring that up a little bit. So I'm quite happy with that. So again, we can do exactly the same on the highlights, bring those up, take the blacks down, and put a little bit of contrast in there, a little bit more gritty on this one. Then we'll put a bit of clarity in there as well, just to um, make it a little bit more gritty. But again, just need a little bit more light down here. I suppose in a way we could have um, lit that a little bit there, but when we took it, so we're going to do that and again take the shadows up and just take the contrast up just slightly. So the exposure up just, just slightly on that one. Now it's a bit bright at the back there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press the Alt key. I'm going to take that away from there. Just brighten it up a little bit too much. So if you make a mistake with the brush, you can either go back and start again. Or you can press your Alt key and take it away. So, looking at going right back to the beginning, quite a bit different, and it's a different style to what it was before. So we've got two copies of the same photo, processed differently. One, like that, cropped it slightly, and then one with quite a gritty black and white. So, see which you prefer. You can like crop that one the same as the other one, just so it's slightly the same. So 
two very different looks from exactly the same photo. That's it for me.